Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. This video is going to be about how to link Lightspeed Traders platform with your eSignal charts. Uh, so what you want to do is link the two platforms together. So when you type in a symbol within your Lightspeed platform, it'll change it within your eSignal. You're not able to do vice versa, so you can't type the symbol in eSignal and have it change in Lightspeed. You have to type it in Lightspeed and then it'll change in eSignal. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, so you'll see I have kind of a split screen here. I have light speed down here and e-signal up top over here. And you'll see right when I click up here, there this is a quote bar, right? So you need to have the quote bar showing in your platform. Otherwise, it won't show. Uh, it won't be able to link. So what you want to do to be able to do that is go up here to options right here. And then you'll see toolbars, right? And you see I have the quote bar checked off. But a lot of times when you go to set up, uh, you know, eSignal, when you're, you know, doing a new layout, it might not be checked off and it might not show over here. So you need to have that quote bar showing in order to link the charts. So how to do that again is click options, go up here to toolbars and click on quote bar. So now you'll see quote bar right up over here. So now all we have to do is link light speed right over here to this quote bar within eSignal. So how you do that is you click on under light speed, utilities, and then configuration settings, and then you go to linking. Once you're over here, you wanna click on add a link, and you'll see this little link window here. What you wanna do is just click on this window, this link right here, and then you're gonna drag it over right over here. Now again, depending on how your screens are set up, if you have multi-screen, singular screen, uh, you know, if you have a multi-screen, you just drag this over to the other screen that has, um, you know, e-signal over here and just drop it. Uh, if you can configure your screen kind of like the way I have it here set up right now, uh, you can just click on this right here and you'll see I'm just going to just drag this window right here and just drop it. Once I've done that, I'm going to click select and you're going to see e-signal right here. Just click OK and now your light speed and e-signal charts are connected. So now all you want to do is just change the symbol within Lightspeed, and then it'll go and it'll change your symbol up in eSignal. So let's just type in C-L-O-V. So when I type C-L-O-V down over here, you'll see the symbol changed right up over here in eSignal, and then you'll see my charts changed as well. So you'll see when I just kind of pop it right back up here, you'll see eSignal... CLOV is linked right down over here to my charts within Lightspeed. Now, if I try to try to change my symbol up here in uh, eSignal, let's type in uh, Goldman Sachs, GS, it will not change them within Lightspeed. You'll see Lightspeed still has CLOV. So you have to type the symbol over here within your Lightspeed platform for it to change within eSignal. So again, let's just type in NFLX. So Netflix over here, it changed it over here, right up here in eSignal, and there are the charts. So again, you have to link the two platforms together, type the symbol in over in Lightspeed, and then it's connected over in eSignal. If you decide you want to unlink this feature and not have the charts linked, you just go up here to Utilities, Configuration Settings, Linking, and then you would just click on eSignal, click on Remove, and then OK, and then they wouldn't be linked anymore. So hopefully this video helped you, and we will see you in our community. Enjoy.